Uh, well, hello there, everyone. Uh, this is Kyle uh, coming to you live from my mother's house. Uh, the show is going to be brought to you by Mother's House for um, um, the next month, uh, which is fine. No one panic. Uh, everything's it's going to be just fine. We're going to have uh, Caitlin and uh, little Biden on the show, some Stallone. So no one panic. I'm in a healthy environment. In my mother's house. She's also going to be on the show. She's doing a Hallmark movie review, which um, probably will be terrible in a good way. Um, she should be in the stream. I don't see mother in the stream, baby. Uh, maybe we, I think she doesn't know she's doing that. Oh. We'll let her know. And why don't we just start the show, baby, and see what happens. We already had a few snafus. Okay. But it's going to be great, right? Yes. I'm not panicked, are you? And I'll send her a link right now. <laughs> All right, let's do the show. Okay, here we go. I shoot my show. Alone in my mother's house. Alone with my stupid dog. If you think round the show looks like shit. Yeah, baby. Again, it didn't work to make it. They said I was too offensive. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to At Home with Sly Stallone, starring me, Sylvester Stallone, and my good friend Kurt, who lives in my converted garage. And now it's time for At Home with Sly Stallone. Not Home Edition. Yeah, 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 we're at the Not Home Edition, Kirby. Wow, this is Sly. Hey, did you watch that opening? I, Kyle forgot to put his handsome filter on. Do you know that guy? Oh, yeah, no, he just forgot that. Listen, we've already had a few snafus, but that's what makes this show so fun. It is live, and there are constant mistakes. Why Why are you at Kyle's house, mom's house? Don't worry about it, because I do I do what I wanted to now, because I just, let's just do the diary. Dear diary, I am on the road because I just leave my friends willy-nilly like Kerp now. I took a page from his book and do what I want. Who cares about everybody else? The end. P.S. Diary, did you know that recycling is a scam by the plastic companies and we just send it to China and they put it into dumpsters? It's a crazy world. Dude. That's my diary. <laughs> um, I didn't have time to write it. Where did you where, <laughs> where are you getting those facts from? Also, what do you mean from the book of Kerp? I you 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 charge me rent to live in the garage. You know that, right? Like that's yeah, what, so you how I make the learn. money. Yes, that's the only language you speak is money. So I have to travel for my uh, magic. For your nonsense. Look, let's right. get to the show. People want to see some some show. So we're going to do my favorites. We haven't done that in a while. Okay. Hey, baby, light up my favorites, would you? My favorite male celebs who could pass for lesbians. All right, here we go. Awesome. I don't know. You ready? Oh, all right. What do you mean, all right? It's, it's not as bad as it could be. Okay, go ahead. Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Hey, Timothy, I don't mean to be shallow, but may I ask what going all the way is for lesbians? Because I have no idea. <laughs> hey, move over, Rosie O'Donnell. I want more. Michael Moore. <laughs> Looks like a lesbian, right? <laughs> what do you say, Kurt? <laughs> His birth certificate says male, but his glasses and haircut says, I run a pit bull rehab with my partner, Linda. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, next up. These are, do you get this, Kerb? Celebs? It looks no, like I they can be lesbians. I, All right. I, I didn't, I doubted you, but those, that was two very lesbian male celebs. So I, I, I get what you're saying. I got new equipment, you know, because I'm at Kyle's mom's house, who, who's terrific. She's just yeah. terrific. But uh, my yo ran out, that yo music, but pretty well timed. So you got to start it again. But oh, it's perfect man. timing for my next celeb male who looks like they could be a lesbian, which is Kevin Bacon. Yeah, that's right. They say we're all just six degrees from Kevin Bacon. But Kevin Bacon looks only two degrees from Rachel Maddow. <laughs> Yum. That's fair. That's a, I think that's fair. It is fair. Ricky Gervais. He's got that look that makes people say, wait, is Melissa McCarthy a lesbian? 
<laughs> he does look like I didn't know that. <laughs> Next up, <laughs> Owen Wilson. That's not. Be true. careful, Owen, or you will soon get mercury poisoning. If you don't stop eating all that tuna, if you know what I mean. No, What's I don't, on the mi- I don't know what you mean. What does that mean? They I- eat tuna. That's a no thing. They, that's part of their lovemaking. Uh, Lesbians is, eating is tuna they, is they part eat, of their. They eat tuna as part of their thing. Yeah. So you were afraid of the guitar. Yo ho ho in a holiday home. I hear the guitar. Wait. So you think that he? First of all, it's Ellen. That's not Owen Wilson. But you think that mercury this? poisoning could actually? You know, that's a metaphor. Eating tuna. That's like not a. Oh, look at Kerbs. Fancy words, everybody. Metaphor. He throws out when he can't win an argument. He makes up words. Metaphor. <laughs> it's not even an argument. I'm, I'm asking a question. I'm not arguing with you. I Metaphor. Just... Who gave you an STD? Look at this. Drew Boogie Woogie says, oh, it's going too fast. I but just, know. do you think that they have actual, a kind of fish? But as uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Let me think of a metaphor. When I went to the store, I metaphor uh, some people that did figure that out. Yes, they, they have tuna. That's part of their ritual. They all eat some tuna. So do, you, oh. do you mind if we take a commercial break, Herb, and stop talking about metaphors? <laughs> okay. All right, baby. Let's hit that. This, this show is brought to you by Blue Ribbon, everybody. Fantastic. This is, they have this marijuana there that doesn't make you high and ruin your life like what it's Kirk CBD. did. CBD. Well, my, my, uh, it, living in your garage is the best place I've ever lived. That was my life ruined. That is the saddest sentence I've ever heard from a human being in my life. I'm just saying ruined right, is strong. Wait, was the baby laughing? What are you laughing at, baby? She's laughing at you, Kurt. <laughs> She's laughing at you. All right, let's hit that sting. We're going to come back. We've got, got a bunch of stuff on the show. Hey, hey Bill. Hey, I, 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 hello, Mr. Fellow, Mr. President. You're part of the President Club now. Huh? You're part of the President Club now. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I'm saying that you being president now, Joe. Well, that, I, that I'm put- not here to talk about your nonsense. I'm here to talk about Blue Ribbon CBD oils. Blue Ribbon, you makes you feel real good inside. But does it get y'all? It does get y'all high, man. So you can you can still do your life. You, you still know, live it, your life. It, it sounds like what you're saying is you're not it helps you it makes you feel good in good ways like making your joints are better and kind of move around and feel healthy but it's just a flower man it's a flower it's from a flower right things can't go wrong if it's just from a flower they say marijuana is black people's spinach but i say it's what i say it well, is well i'll tell you something i didn't i never said that don't don't put me come on man you comments. said that fine I've you said, said that, that in your mouth as old guys man this is for us help us with our joints or Jake's and Paints. Man, get down there, man. Start clicking and clacking on, on them there and get them promo codes to get some money off there. Go down there and do something down there. I better not say that. Yeah, be it, be it broad, broad spectrum print, man. Premium broad spectrum. I got, Premium I got broad print. spectrum print, man. It's a tongue twister. You know, Joe, it is. I'll try it again. Premium broad spectrum hemp products yeah. are designed to help maintain some good health things, and I'm going to tell you about them. Huh? The healthy sleep patterns. Trouble sleeping? Come on, just get the blue room. Help, 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 help. Recovery from inflammation. If you got some, some joints there uh, barking at you, you just calm down with the blue blue room there. And a profound sense of calm and focus. Uh, yeah, get them calm locusts. Look, it's in there, Blue Ribbon Hemp Hemp Seed. Right down there, promo code, man. Link, link, link down there. I, I love it. I love it. I love their oral strips. Come on, them. man. Hey. Keep it clean, pal. I love their tincture oils, too. Hey, hey, pal. <laughs> Watch it. Watch it. It's a family show, man. It's good stuff. All right, folks. It's time for your favorite game, Caitlin's Dirty Game Show. It's time for Caitlin's Dirty Game Show. Yeah. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness me, folks. Yeah. This show, if you haven't seen it before, it's the dirtiest show on the internet. It's Caitlin's Meow Meow Dirty Game Show. My sidekick, Peter the Perb, is here. Peter, I met, uh, he was peeping in on me at Fred Seagull's when I was changing there. Oh, I can't hear Peter at all. Hold on. Oh, we, we had you muted there, Peter. Sorry about that. I'm, What'd I'm you say, we, Peter? I'm glad we've become friends. I feel like I know you as a... We are good friends. Yeah. yeah. And you're a good, you're a good addition to this 
uh, disgusting show. I think, it's, I think it is disgusting, thankfully. What is, what is this misogynist comic doing here? Kirk, what are you doing? You're not in Dirty Game Show. I, I mean, I, it's a good question. And why do you have Peter the Perv? It was really Get, get out of here, you, you transphobic asshole. I, I, I like Sorry Kurt, about that, I like Kurt a lot. I think Kurt is a lot like me. Well, yeah, you guys are two peas in the pod. All right, let's do our first round. Now, folks at home, you're going to be playing this game. We're going to uh, give you some clues. And, uh, well, let's just uh, say uh, uh, the first round is called... <laughs> and now it's time for Boobs or Butts, baby. I really you ever like... hear a skip like that? because me and the baby hit at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That's I really like is. boobs. Or boobs or butt is a fun category. It's one of my favorites. It's a real fun category, and 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 Peter, you're very good at it. But we're gonna have the audience at at home play, and uh, what we do is we show you. Um, here's an example. Is this a boob yeah. or a butt? And uh, if you get it right, and you say who it is, and put in the comments there, you know, well, then you get to play for a T-shirt by naming whose boob or butt it is. Is that yeah. fun? All right, someone says butt. All right, okay. Peter, do you have a guess? I. I... It just looks like folds, and I like folds on any body because folds are where you can put stuff. All right, don't you don't have to be disgusting, Peter. Okay. All right, boobs. Okay. All right, baby, we got a. Uh, do we have a, uh, someone who guessed this was a rear end? This is a butt. All right, so That's baby, pick guessed them both. Well, we haven't done the uh, who it is yet. Get get out of here, baby. Baby doesn't know what we're doing. <laughs> Peter, you understand what we're doing. Now you give the clue of who it I, is. I give the clue. Do I get to use my music? Yes, you use your music. And now, if you guess but and you guess this, baby, pick somebody that, that guessed but, okay? Just pick them. Get, pick somebody that, that guessed but. Some of the, one of the first people. In the meantime, I just wanted to talk to Kurt for a second. All right. Yeah. Wait. I don't know why Kurt, I feel like you here. and I are so much alike, and I'd like. Please to don't say that. Him. Please. I, I just feel like we could go sometime. I, it really. The mall. I don't understand what's happening. But yeah, please don't. I wouldn't put yourself down like that, Peter. There's a massage parlor that I'd like to go to with you and watch you get massaged. Just kidding. Oh, well, that's cool. That's not how joking works. That's I mean, nice. A, this is the punchline. Do you have somebody, baby? Yes, Chrissy. Okay, is it Chrissy Devonson? Devonson. Okay, Chrissy, now to win a t-shirt, you have to guess who it is, and Peter's going to give you the clue. All right, Peter, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, you get the she's not having a t-shirt. That's a good That's t-shirt. Josh's t-shirt, man. Yeah? I love. I like Josh. Okay. All right, Peter. Here, let me get that. Let's get that thing off Peter's face for a second. Yeah, we want to see how disgusting he looks. And then I'm going to do my clue with my sock. Okay, here's, you want your song? I want my sock. All right, go. Start spreading those legs. I'm jizzing right now. No, Peter, give the clue, Peter. I see London. I see France. I want to sniff this person's underpants for the rest of Peter, the Peter, give a clue for the person. Um, so French city, French city. French city is your clue, Chrissy, yes. Chrissy. What did Chrissy get? Chrissy, Chrissy. Does she Chrissy. get? Yeah. Does she get the t-shirt or no, baby? Well, I don't see a guest from her. While we're waiting, I wanted to talk to Kurt for a second. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's talk to Kurt real quick. I just, Why we're just, waiting for Chris? Again, I thought answer. you and I could maybe go to this movie theater that, and then you could get massaged, and, and then I could watch. Did you want to watch you get massaged? <laughs> this is the second time you've brought that up. Yes, I think it'd be fun that you and I hang out because we kind of look alike too. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Uh, what is Chrissy's guess? Did she not guess? I don't see. A guess. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Look, Chrissy, we can't wait for you. I have a feeling the baby screwed this up. Peter, don't you think probably it was baby's fault? Can I tell everybody who it was? Yes, Peter. It was Paris Hilton. It was Paris Hilton's butt. Okay. And it did look like a boob. All right, here's your next round on boobs and butts. Whose boobs or butts is this? Send in your guesses, and you could win a, oh, T-shirt. Let's go with your guesses. All right, we have Paris Hilton. Nope, people did guess there. (laughs) All right, folks. That's a pretty nice hiney or a boob. Either one would be nice, wouldn't you say, Peter? I would say each one is nice in their own way, but the same way sometimes because it's wet inside. Just kidding. All right, let's not. Don't be so gross. All right, did anybody guess the right thing here? No. Nobody guessed the right answer. No. (laughs) All right. (laughs) What do you? What do you think is so funny that this? This game is totally ruined. 
you know, yeah, I mean, we're never I, playing this I, game I feel, again. I feel like so we, what you know? did you guys say you could win that T-shirt, man? I just want to say we should just muscle through. Like maybe Kurt and I could muscle through. All right. <laughs> See that Kurt? You wanted to muscle Kurt, through with you. I, Why are you acting like we're friends? <laughs> okay, someone guessed butt. And they were correct. It is a butt, oh, baby. You're not supposed to show that right now. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I just screwed up. Peter, do you want to show the... Maybe they I didn't still see wanna, too much I still want to do the clue anyway. All right, Peter. Here's your clue. And by the way, Peter, don't say spread spraying your legs. Okay, you I say that every time. Okay, I won't say that. All right, here's Peter's clue. Put your legs behind your ears. Oh my God! I'm jizzing right now. Oh my God, Peter! All she's right. like a she's like a flower that that's 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 red with period blood on the, on the labia. All right, Peter, is this real? That's enough. Okay, anybody guess who that was? Rose McGowan. That was too easy because I showed it. All right, here's the final the final game of Caitlin's dirty game show, baby. This is my favorite game. I know, I know, you love it, Peter. Here's the. And now it's time for Name That Camel Toe. Yeah. All right. You got to name the camel toe. I'm going to show you the camel toe. You got to name who it belongs to, baby. All right. Ready for this camel toe? All right. There's uh, there, Now Peter's going to give you a little bit of a gift. Oh, yep. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Craig. Absolutely. I won't jizz anymore. All right. Do you have your uh, clue for everyone, Peter? Yes, I do. No one has won any T-shirts because I have a feeling Baby is not putting up the people guessing. I am. Is that possible? I'm trying. Okay, she's trying, everybody. And that's all you can ask from a four-year-old is that they try. All right, Peter, do you want to give them a clue of who's yes, camel toe? Okay, here we go. Start ripping off your tits. Uh, Peter, you're supposed to give a clue. You don't have to be discussing all the First time. name rhymes with itchy. And then, and then down. Just think that you're that you're itchy down under in your area. Itchy down the area, under. The area oh, that I, that's disgusting. Yeah. Itchy down under. Do I, am I supposed to guess or no? Uh, no. Rose is brave. Thank you. You're you're not playing this. You're um, a transphobic misogynist comedian. What? You should just be in the Stallone show. Kurt, you and I could play this game in your garage sometime. I would like to just be in the Stallone show. I don't want to be paired with Peter. Uh, I think I was very clear. Nicki Minaj was a guest, baby, but it's wrong. No, it's wrong. Izzy. We got a winner. It's Izzy Azalea. Yeah. All right. Who guessed that? They get a t shirt. <laughs> why, why is Kerb still here? Here we go. Who won yeah, that t shirt? No, uh, to we... Tony. Tony, Tony congratulations. To Kyle Dunnigan show at Gmail. And also. Yeah. Email. All right, we've got one more camel toe. I feel like we shouldn't do any more, but we've got one, one more. Please do one more. And then we're going to go to Judy's, going to review a um, a Hallmark movie. Can I can I say Christmas something? Movie. Oh, crap. About, uh, yes, about, go ahead, Peter. This time I'm going to start the song off with something more wholesome and clean for the... Well, for that'd people. be wonderful, Peter. Thank okay. you. That'd be nice. Okay. okay. And you want the music with it? Yes. Start peeing on your sister. Oh, my God. Why? Pee on your sister as much as possible. Why would you okay. pee on your sister? All right, she 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 used to get mail, but now she gets bacon strips. She used to get mail, now she gets bacon. All right, put in your guesses there, folks. That's uh, Peter the Perv. His hint is disgusting, but remember, it's supposed to be disgusting. That's the name of the show. It's uh, Kesha. Okay, I got some Nicole Richie possible here. Uh, we got uh, why is Kurt back in here? Is he? All right. Doesn't seem like anyone got your clue there, Peter. She's got. It's, it's it'd be nice to save her. Instead private. of mail, it'd be nice to got... save her. It'd be nice to save her privates. Save her privates. All right. All right, baby. Did no one guessed it right? No. Oh my goodness! It was Meg Ryan. Because mail. She's she... got mail. Yeah, you got mail. Oh my God. I have a feeling like 40 people guessed that and the baby just didn't put them up. Is that possible? I don't think so. All right. Well, that's how you play Kaylin's Dirty Game Show. We'll be right back after these uh, messages uh, from Josh and uh, Blay. <laughs> See you guys later. I still I want. Mean, it's like every clue, Kurt, every guys, thing she misses. Could you guys let Kurt know that he can call me anytime? He can get a hold yes, of Yes, we'll let uh, Kurt know. Still wait. This is, Don't you feel like the baby misses every single this, this thing gives me another we have 
I think it's weird you've mixed a baby and a pervert. <laughs> this is another I think that was a mistake to mix the baby and the pervert. Absolutely. Okay, Should I, I found it. Oh, okay, it's not a... All right, we'll be right back, folks. Just don't even say it, Peter. Hey, dudes, it's me, Josh. And I'm Blay. And we want to invite you guys to the after party. It's after the show, and it's radical, dude. It's incredible. I'm going to be taking your prayer requests. We're going to get those prayers answered. Dude, when Blay, like, takes your prayer requests and sends them on high, dude, they get answered, dude. Yeah. I was playing Mario Kart level right. four, dude, and I was like, <laughs> Blay, you got to pray for me, dude. Pray that Jenna does not come home because she will not be having this. And she did it. Oh, that's incredible. You know, you know, Josh, you got to come to my Bible study. We got it going on Monday, oh, I wanna Tuesday, go. Wednesday, it, Thursday, dude? I wanna Thursday go, dude. Friday. We got a Saturday with the worship band. Oh, Sunday also, two this services. Week, dude. Oh, yeah. this week I can't, dude. Oh, we'll talk about it more oh, in the after party. Oh, and by the way, everyone, I want you to know that the best after party there is is heaven. And that's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Join below in Excelsis Deo, dude. My God, Excelsis Deo, join the after party. Josh really wanted to be there, but he couldn't make it. Oh. <laughs> I feel like we're never doing the Kaylin game show again. That's always a huge disaster. On high. Uh, but where's Ju uh, where's happened. the Hallmark reviews of Judy? We're going to do like. that right now. That's what we just, came here for. I know. I just want to say I've been watching these movies, and they're if you've seen them, they're so bad. They're... They're all the same actors. They just like repeat them. I don't know if they'd give them like a five picture deal or whatever, but you get confused because they're all in different ones and they're like a scientist in one and they're like a, a waitress who wants to open up like a muffin shop. Yeah. And all of them have this like porno actors, but the opposite of porn. Yes. yes. <laughs> or is it? And then they have um, like a Prince Charming sort of theme to all of them. It would be <laughs> like some guy didn't know he's a prince. One what about like, an idea I just had called a Christmas for Blay, and it's a holiday Blay. Oh, a very, movie. a very Blay Christmas. <laughs> they do this thing where they go. Um, in every one of the episodes, they'll go. Uh, they're by a door, like a guy will leave, and they'll play music like this. And I'll be like, "Oh, Cole," and I'll be like, "Yeah, Merry Christmas." <laughs> and they'll go Merry Christmas every episode that happens alright so my mom is coming in uh, mom are you ready to give your review you guys are being mean I love the holiday um, I know and they even have it in July they have Christmas in July the, and, the, and they show these Hallmark movies and yes. I know it's not great or anything but they're fun well, we're excited to hear your review. Um, okay. We have a sting for you. It's time for Judy's Hallmark movie review. So, Ma, you have the floor. You have 60 seconds to give oh your God, review. To Jessica? Story. What happened? Where's Jessica? Jessica? Um, yes. Okay. Could you start the clock? Ma, go ahead with your review. Oh, my God. The name of the movie is Holiday Date. And it's about a young uh, a gift designer who has a boyfriend named Ethan. Wait, hold on, and Mom. Okay. You don't, I don't want you to rush. I it's want a you long to... story. Okay. We'll start the clock a little later. You, I want you to feel like you have time to tell the story. Okay. okay. Just breathe and enjoy and just be yeah, enjoy wonderful and, Judy we all know. And, and remember how wonderful this movie was. And I it want you to really, bring that joy. It really, it was a nice movie. Okay, here we go. And whenever you're ready. Okay, there's a, a young girl, Emily, it's a couple of days before Christmas, and she's going to take her boyfriend, Ethan, home for the holidays to meet her parents. She, it's a couple of days before Easter, and it, not Easter, Christmas. And um, she's at a restaurant, and the boyfriend says, I can't go home with you. I'm sorry. So Jessica, says, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening with He's this clock? He's an architect. He's an architect. I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm never going to get through this. I mean. I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> and I'm looking I at love that. I, no, but I. Judy said, I, I he's a, like it's literally. Judy said, I don't he's think an architect. anything ever worked on this show <laughs> nothing, ever. Nothing is working. Hey, Judy but it said never does. He's why? an architect. Yeah. He's an architect. Yeah. And she's a designer. Okay. And 
they and she gets angry with him because he says, I, I don't have time to go home with you. So she goes outside and she's going to go to a, the, her, her Christmas party. And she meets this guy on the street and she tells him, I just broke up with my boyfriend. And he said, oh, OK, I'm going to the same Christmas party you're going to. So they both go to this Christmas party and she was telling them that she's bringing, <laughs> she's bringing this her parents are expecting her, her boyfriend i don't know what's going on what's happening in this story yo Kurt's, dude is yeah. it yeah. i think the clock was appropriate it was like time kept resetting it, like it will never end yeah it's their this long story stories never gonna end. it's not your fault they're very long convoluted stories that's kind yeah, of we kind long. of set you up but what is the gist of it like somebody meets somebody at christmas okay the, somebody meets somebody for christmas and and she instead of bringing her fiance home, she brings this actor home. He's an actor who's going to. Pretend, oh, I saw this. This is so dumb. Yeah. He's going to pretend that he's her boyfriend. It turns out that so he doesn't. She... He doesn't know. He's he's on commercials. So people are saying to him, "Gee, you look so familiar. Gee, you look so familiar." So wait. So I, sudden, this this premise, oh, it, she wanted her boyfriend couldn't make it home for Christmas, so she hired an actor to play her boyfriend so it's about a chick that cheats on her boyfriend with an actor ultimately yeah and no, like her family would it. never find out that that what on it earth? doesn't make any sense she doesn't Didn't they already make this to be disappointed that he, they're not meeting her her boyfriend did so, judy grow up so wait a minute hold on Gigi, aren't they gonna yes. know later yeah they do find out judy judy, judy. like yeah. so you go just pretend to be my boyfriend and then later when they're gonna have to meet him if i'm getting engaged or whatever they're gonna yeah, be they, like, oh, they, that wasn't him. He's engaged because he goes into a, a store to get some jewelry, and she goes into this bridal <laughs> shop to get some uh, things. It's a long story. It's time think of for Judy's hallmark. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> this this was originally supposed to be a one-minute movie review. You know, I got Jessica. Is, I don't know. Song. Put up some clock that didn't what? work. And but then the ending, it, it always has a happy ending. They're all everybody lives happily ever after. Yeah. And it turns out he's Jewish, so he couldn't even sing Christmas carols because he didn't know the words. So that's how oh. they found out. It's oh. it's very long and complicated. Well, um, how do you like me living here, Ma? Do you like it? I love your living here. What a joy. It's all right, we got Did we got to um... see that movie, by the way. <laughs> Run. We gotta shorten that sting. I feel like this one went really well. I think that's I, this this has legs, as Kurt would say. This bit, this yeah, we might what? do this again, Molly. You may have to keep. Wait watching a minute, movies. is the show over? Well, well, we're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna do the after party. You come to the after party. I really had one minute, huh? Well, yeah. I think we gave you ten. <laughs> do you have the pick me up or no? Do you I know don't. How many pages, it is. This that story was so complicated. I know. Well, it's oh, not your fault. How did you? I I never got the link. How did the show go? Well, it's uh, still it was, going. It was pretty much. It's it was a technical now? snafu. Yeah, I, the, I didn't know usual. that Hallmark movies were denser than Dune. Like they're more yeah, complex. Right. Yep. They're yeah, very they're complex, but they always have a happy ending, and everybody and you, most of them I cry. They're they're really they're terrible. Um, they're not good, but they're. They tug at the heartstrings. They tear at the heartstrings. They really and they're do. Very happy. They, they always end up happy. And homeless a, American. Why would you give fifty dollars away? You're homeless. Thank you. <laughs> not happy. She's not having it, dude. All right, let's just start. I think we should start the after party. Are we off um, the air? Am I? I'm off the air, right? No, you're on the air. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> no. You are so on the air. You're very oh much on the air. God. But listen, we're at, this is at on the road. People know it's like a little more casual, and we're gonna do an after party. Maybe you could join us. And, uh, if you, you want, you're in the other room. You know what? I'll tell you something. This this thing was a very complicated story. I know it was pretty complicated. But it had such a hat for Judy's hallmark. Maybe we'll do who, we'll do it again next. Who who starred in it? Oh <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Who started no, there's it? no stars. There's no stars. Is there like no, Mario some, Lopez kind of either, people? It's people who made it in the '90s, like um, that girl yeah. played Lois from Lois and Clark. She's in some of them. Yeah, there's a Terry Hatcher. Yeah, Terry Hatcher, right. like somebody like they became moms or they got a family and they're like, I'll do this thing. Or it's like people kind of up and coming or 
it, 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 they're always the same character, so it's very confusing. It's, yeah. it's, what are they, they called? The same actors all the time. The Hallmark Fupa yeah. movie. <laughs> yes. And we lit Mother great. Sorry about that. And people, um, people love it. People love the movies. Okay. All right. This is our show. Look, it's been it's been interesting. Um, I think it's been start. incredible. It's yeah. been incredible. Peter the Perf was here. John, did you see him? I saw him. He's and, so uh, gross. He's such so opposite from Blay. I mean, those two guys need to get together. Speaking yeah, really of Blay, at the after party, um, if you email at Kyle Dunnigan Show at Gmail, your prayer request, Blay is going to be answering. Some of those oh things. yeah, Blay is going to answer prayers. And plus, we um, Blay, Blay answers the prayers, or he we also has baby you. news. Oh, I think Blay's going to pray. Yeah, we did the baby news last time, which was really fun. We'll do it again. <laughs> right. Not ready for baby. News. You're not ready for baby news? <laughs> you better, well, better come up with something. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at the after party, which is going to start in like 10 minutes. No, are we, okay. 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 Bye-bye. So we're not going right into after party. All right. <laughs> we, we're going to start we're a new stream. Really on, on the air now? I way. know. Can you believe it? This is our show. We're going to get a couple of thumbs down, but that's all right. We'll come back strong. No, they, it's just in time for disabling the dislikes. <laughs> oh, sweet. Did now we disable no the dislikes? Can... Yeah, there's Is no that why democracy. there's been none? That's hilarious. I love that's... it. Because I've been like, dude, nobody's disliking. Someone said it was because of there's a movie. Um, oh, yeah, that Christmas yeah, movie. You know which movie. Yes. What is it called? When anyway, there's a Christmas bad. movie. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, all right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Good night.